Welcome to the Algo Trading series using Pine Script from Market Secrets. This is episode 9 of the series, and in this episode, we are going to see how to create a custom indicator in Pine Script. In this episode, we are going to create a multiple time frame indicator. Sometimes we want data from one time frame on another time frame. So that's what we call it as a multiple time frame indicator. So you might want a daily time frame data in a five minute chart. So if you are to do that, we need to do some complex calculations and that's what we are going to see in this episode. To quote a simple example of this is your daily pivot point. Regardless of any time frame we are trading, like 5 minute, 15 minute, 1 hour or 1 minute, we always want our pivot points to be plotted based on the daily time frame levels. That's how it works. Hope you have noticed it. In this episode, we are going to follow a similar approach for Bollinger Band indicator that we are creating. For example, we will be plotting a 15 minute Bollinger Band directly on a 5 minute chart. So we start that by declaring a name of the script and indicating it is a study. So let's jump into the script now. So this is a study and not a strategy. So I have used the study object here and I've given it a name. This is an episode nine and we are trying to build a custom multiple time frame indicator. So I'm just giving this a name and this chart will be projected over the existing chart. It will not be projected on a separate chart. So I have given overlay as true. Next, we need to get some user inputs. We need to duplicate most of the inputs from the actual Bollinger Band indicator for our custom indicator. This is the core script that is used by the original Bollinger Band indicator. But we need to do some modifications to that original script and that's what we have done in this particular script. Also, I'm not going to go into the syntax as of now, as we have discussed about the syntaxes in the earlier episodes, for example, right, this input parameter or security or whatever it is, right. So all this we have discussed in detail in multiple episodes, so I'm not going to go into the details. So let's get into the script in detail now. So the first part of the script is the user input. So we need to get the Bollinger Band time frame. This is nothing but from which time frame we need to get the data. For example, currently we are in daily time frame. So if we want a 15 minute time frame, we need to feed 15 minutes in this particular variable or parameter. And if you look at here, the input type is resolution. I'll talk about this in a short while. And in addition to the time frame, we are getting the length. That is the length to be used for calculating the Bollinger Band and also the standard deviation that needs to be used while drawing the Bollinger Band. Now, once we have these values, we need to pass the length and standard deviation along with the closing price to the Bollinger Band built-in function. So double B is the built-in function for Bollinger Band. So we need to pass these three data, that is the length, standard deviation and the closing price to plot the upper band, middle band and lower band values. So this uh, built-in function will return these three values, that is middle band, upper band and lower band data. Now comes the critical part. We are not actually plotting the Bollinger Band using the data and the current time frame. We are using a different time frames data. So that's what we are trying to accomplish using the security option here. So what we need to do is like we need to pass the symbol ID that is nothing but your stock ID. So system info dot ticker ID this will automatically pass the current stocks uh, information. If you want a different stock name for example Nifty you can hard code it here. But if you want to use the existing start then you can use uh, this as such and followed by that you need to pass the time frame from which time frame we need to fetch the data so we have already uh, you know taken the time frame as an input from the user so we need to pass it here and then we are passing the middle band value that we have calculated and then we have passed two other parameters so the first parameter it will avoid the gaps and smoothen the curve so in some indicators right there'll be a step by step movement right so that's what will happen if you don't smoothen it we want bollinger band to be smoothened so we need to you know turn this to true 
and if you want the candles to be repainted like you know if you want the actual candle to be used for these calculations then you need to turn this on i've turned this off because i don't like repainting so it will use the values that is already there it won't uh, you know work based on the estimated values so we need to repeat this for the mid band upper band and lower band using the values returned in the previous step so that's what we have done and now once we have these values we can plot it so these three parameters right this will be the original bollinger band and these are the modified bollinger band using the time frame that we have passed now if you click add to chart the bollinger band will be plotted in your actual trading chart so you can go to the settings and you can change the time frame so this bollinger band is plotted based on the 1 hour time frame in your daily chart so instead if you want uh, you know a 15 minute bollinger band you can plot it as well see this has automatically now changed so i'm going to change the time frame now i'm going to change it to 5 minutes so if i change it to 5 minutes right so you, you can see a 15 minute bollinger band on a 5 minute chart likewise you can you know drill, drill it down to 1 minute now you can see a 15 minute bollinger band on a 1 minute chart so if you want uh, this to be changed again so just look at a graph here if i'm changing this it will automatically change so the bollinger band will automatically change so now i have plotted 5 minute bollinger band in a 1 minute chart so we can play around like this and uh, you know you can plot even a different stock for example right you can plot a nifty's bollinger band on a bank nifty chart you can very well do that as well the input allows you for easy customization currently this input we are selecting only the time frame you can even add another input and you can pass the stock name as well for example you can uh, you know have another name for security and you can pass the uh, you know nifty so you can very well do that as well if that's what you want this input allows for easy customization of bollinger band parameters and this allows the indicator to work uh, you know on any time frame without going into the script so that's the crucial thing here So with that we have come to the end of today's episode if you have any queries comments or feedback about this episode or the series please leave it down in the comment section we'll be happy to answer it also check out our websites for various data feeds learnings and other free series that is running in parallel and if you have any inputs for us please do drop it down in the comment section or reach out through us through whatsapp or telegram we'll be happy to answer it our website address is www.marketsecrets.in also hit the like button if you have liked this video and share it with your friends if you find it useful your engagement is very important for us and it's one of our motivational factors so please do like and share our videos also subscribe to our youtube channel and click the bell icon to get notified whenever we upload a new video or conduct a live session thanks for watching have a great day goodbye